I got the parts of Vapor Smooth with some acetone. Uh, there's some parts here that aren't for the radio. I made a little cover printed out for the center console in the 240. And these are actually axles for a little fallout toy car. Um, I got the rest of those parts hanging up, but I have my, my needle and the inner workings and our push buttons. I've been sanding on the uh, box itself. I finally got it glued together. I got those holes filled. I used a little bit of body filler putty and those corners were torn out. And so now I'm going to put this first coat of primer on it and see what I got. Get it all one color. And then once I'm satisfied that it's smooth and painted up properly, uh, excuse me, primed properly, I'll put a, the first base coat of uh, black paint on it. I'm going to use to give it a wood tone. All right, all right. So I'm out here working on the radio, but also 3D print a few other things I'm working on. Um, this is what I use for vapor smoothing. Just a little tub and I got some gutter guard in there. At the moment I got a, all the parts for a new cola truck smoothing out. Looks like I can go just a little bit longer on that. Let's see if I can get a little bit smoother. And I try to not prime this because I don't want to lose the uh, detail on the new cola logo there. <laughs> let that go so I just uh, finished putting this one back together the little well <laughs> I can't really squeeze the parts tight together yet the uh, clear coat isn't really hard that I put on there I hand painted that last night and so I just brought out to the garage today to put a coat of clear on it because uh, that yellow paint's uh, water-based, so is the red. I'm about to start painting the radio box. I've got it all sanded down. There's still a few imperfections, but you won't see them once the faceplate goes on. I actually have it upside down. <laughs> but I'm going to start off by uh, giving the inside a, a coat of like a tan color to simulate uh, particle board. And then I'm going to go over the outside with a, a flat black i'm going to let that dry up and what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to have a brush handy after the flat blacks dry i got some brown and tan and i'm just going to spritz over it and quickly brush it to smear it to try and get a wood grain look um we'll see how that goes but all i'm going to get done today is get the inside painted tan and get the outside painted satin black and then i'll let that dry completely overnight and come back and do a little bit more tomorrow. All right, I've taken the nuclear truck parts out of the uh, vapor smoothing bath. And while I was waiting on the paint to dry for the box, I cut out my uh, little plexiglass piece there. And I'm gonna use as the valve cover. I've been working on getting it fit in there. I'll be gluing it in for long. That will be just one piece with this. And here's what I got so far. I got the inside sprayed. My goal was to make it look kind of like MDF in there. So now that that's dried, I'm going to go ahead and give the outside a, a good coat of black and that'll be it for tonight. Let it dry completely. And pick back up uh, tomorrow. All right, I got a little bit of paint on it. I just figured I'd show you one more thing. I did dust over it just a little bit with the dark brown, just to tint it a little bit before it dries. But um, this back panel is already dried up, and I believe it looks like MDF. It has the the texture of it and the, the sight of it, so. I think this is going to work out good, and uh, I can't wait to do the brush texture on this tomorrow to make it look like wood. Alright, base coat's dry, got a nice chocolate brown. 
Uh, I already did an experiment last night by painting the bottom using the method I'm gonna do today. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's got this nice antique worn uh, faux or fake wood uh, finish to it now on the bottom. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the front top and sides. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I have my base coat of black satin. I've got a, a nice dark uh, brown and a tan color. I've got a little jar of some acetone, which will come in handy later, and a, a brush. Now, the way this is going to work is I'm going to alternate spraying these, just barely pressing it so I get big droplets to come out, and I'm going to brush over them. Um, to give it that streaky texture, I might even jiggle a little bit, just to break up the blobs into smaller pieces and to smear them a little bit. And when I'm finally done, I'll dip the brush in acetone and I'll, I'll, I'll streak it. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle to, to give it the grain look. But that's what I'm going for. Um, I'll show uh, a couple here, you know, at least this top side. And I'll show the end result so you can see what I got. This is a neat little technique for creating fake wood grain. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of this chuck around on there. like painting. Doesn't matter what I'm painting. Big droplets, big droplets, big droplets. Just wrap it over the edge. Looking pretty good. Add a little bit more black just to bring back some of that contrast. And of course, you can repeat this several times until you get it looking the way you like it. Alright. I think I like that uh, color shade there. It's time to dip the brush in the acetone, get it a little, a little bit damp. I don't really want wet wet, just a little damp. And that just helps to uh, Spread the paint a little bit further and even out the tone. So there. That looks good for that side. Now it's just a little bit of paint, so it's gonna dry pretty quick and I'll be able to move to another side. Let me see if I can zoom in to where you can get a look, good look at that texture. The uh, lights really don't help in here. I can get it up on the side like that. A little bit of an old worn wood grain look to it. 
now, I'm going to go ahead and do the other sides off camera. And... Alright, paint's dry, so I'm just test fitting. Got a little globe in there, this is just sitting in there right now. But uh, I figured in here you could see the paint a little bit better. It's coming right along. Hopefully the next update will be me uh, inserting some little glass, uh, brass thread inserts to uh, start assembly. 